Well, hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? So, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, and this evening, guys, I'll be going over the good old PS2. Uh, so, how long has it been since I've went over the PS2? Let's see. Mm, years. Just, just say years and years. That's it. Uh, I don't know how long it's actually been, but it's been years. So, yeah, uh, this evening, guys, I'll be going over the PS2 and uh, showing you guys how to install free HD boot onto your PS2 internal hard drive. Okay, uh, a lot of you guys already know how to do this, but guess what? I'm going to show you anyway. Yep. So, there's four things that you're going to need. Uh, first of all, you're going to need uh, a memory card with free boot already installed preferably 1.95 or 1.96 because uh, 1.8 I don't believe gives you the option to uh, install anything onto your hard drive uh, that I know of it's only 1.5 and 1.6 this has 1.966 on it did I say 1.6 yeah 1.95 or 1.966 this one has 1.966. Okay, get that out of the way. All right, so, second of all, you're gonna need a flash drive. All right, I've got a, like a newbie package on this thing or whatever, and uh, got some uh, files on this we're gonna need. Okay, so that's that. Uh, you're also gonna need a SATA HD adapter for your PS2. Uh, this is GameStar, it's from GameStar. Uh, ordered this online. And in the description below, guys, I uh, will have a link on where I got this thing from. So you, if you guys need one, you want one, go get it. All right. So, lastly, you're going to need a good old hard drive, guys. Uh, there's specific ones that actually work with the PS2. I got a 35,000 series uh, PS2. Um, there's the 50,000 series ps2 i heard they're really 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 fussy with uh hard drives so i'll be going over that with you on how to uh jump start a drive on your ps2 but this is actually a 250 gig hard drive um it come it come out of an old computer that my dad had given me uh went to reinstall windows and i couldn't do it uh something i, I guess there's really something wrong with this uh and writing onto this disc but it does work with the PS2, uh, but I can't copy any ISOs or anything like that over onto this from my computer. It just won't do it. But this will do for this tutorial, and I'll be getting a 500 gig um, WD Western Digital uh, for my PS2 soon. And then I'll show you the steps on how to do it on the computer, because there are actually two ways of doing it. One on the PS2 and one on the computer. So, yeah, that's that, guys. And uh, so we'll jump on over to that PS2 over there and get to show you how to install some free HD boot. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we are. Uh, first thing I want to do is apologize. Because I thought this memory card had Freemic Boot version 1.966 installed. But as you can see, uh, it has version 1.95 installed. So yeah, I picked the wrong memory card. Uh, but hey, no big deal. No big deal at all, guys. Uh, 1.95 is a good version. So we're going to continue on with this, guys. And so what we're going to do next is mosey down to our ULaunch ELF program. And we're going to hit the X button to launch it. Okay, so once we get into Ulaunch Elf, um, you want to hit your O button to file browse. And what we're going to do, we're going to head all the way to the bottom to that miscellaneous folder, guys. Go into it, and we're going to head down to HDD Manager. And we're going to boot that up. So, right here, let me see. Okay, 
Yeah, right here, guys. This is where some of you might run into some problems. Um, as you can see, my HDD status of my connection is yes. Formatted is no. Uh, your connection might say no. Uh, that means your PS2 is not recognizing your hard drive. And so what you have to do, you have to jump start your hard drive, guys. And you, how you do that is by booting up the OPL program. And I'll show you that. If you have a, a newbie package on your your flash drive, which you should, and you just go into it, or you can actually just uh, download the uh, Freemic Boot files, which I which I did here, and you can just go in there and go into apps and run your OPL dot L file here. Now at the uh, bottom right hand corner, if you see some dots spinning around or whatever like that right there, uh, that means that your PS2 has jump started your hard drive and now it's actually recognizing it. Now you can just exit out of it, you don't have to do anything in here, just exit out. i just go back. Alright, so what we want to do now is go back into Ulaunch Elf. We hit our O button again. And we're going to head uh, down to our miscellaneous folder once more and our HDD manager. We want to boot that up. Now, once you get in here, guys, uh, after running the OPL program, you should be connected. Under connection, it should say yes. Okay, if it does, go hit your right shoulder button, and what we're going to do, we're going to format our drive. Okay, and there we are. We just formatted our hard drive. We're all ready to go. And so what, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our mass, which is our flash drive. We're going to go into it. And whatever uh, framework boot you want to install, I've got 1966 here and 195. And I'm going to go 195. And what you want to do is just boot up the installer here. Okay, so once you're here at the main menu, what you want to do is hit your right shoulder button, guys. Okay, that's going to take you to your, uh, your actually your your hard drive menu. All right, so you don't want to install right yet. What you want to do is go to uninstall, so that way it cleans it up. So what we're going to do, we hit the X button to uninstall. As you can see right there, the uh, FHDB on the hard disk drive will be cleaned up. Continue, yes. <clears throat> the installation was cleaned up successfully. Okay, we're going to hit our right shoulder button once more and we're going to go to install. Hit yes. And now we just sit back and wait a, wait a minute while it does its thing. Okay guys, there we are. So, installation is completed. We're going to hit OK. And now, we're going to exit. Uh, before we exit guys, I'm going to go ahead and take out uh, the memory card and my flash drive. Alright. Okay, so now we want to exit out of this. Hit OK. And now we should be booting into free HD boot. We should be booting right off the hard drive, guys.
And there we are, guys. Free HD boot version 1.95. So, what I want to do now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and put my flash drive back in my PS2 because we want to get some. We want to get the OPL set up here real quick. Okay, so we'll go back into you launch elf. Hit the O button, go to mass. I'm gonna go down to here. I like the one nine six six version of OPL. So I'm gonna boot that up. So basically what it's doing now is, is, is creating folders on your uh, hard drive that it needs to uh, function and play games and things like that. So we're going to go back out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna go back into the launch shelf. <laughs> I wanna see if it created that, the folder structure on the, uh, my hard drive. There we go. There's our, there's our folder structure right there, guys, that it created. And, uh, what I actually wanna do, I actually want to, um, I don't think it has it on here. It don't. Let's go down to mass again because I want. There's two things that I want to copy over. Um, okay, this one I'm gonna hit the uh, right shoulder button to bring up the options, and what I want to do is copy. I'm gonna go back out. Go to my hard drive. I'm just going to paste it right in here, guys. You hit the uh, right shoulder button to bring up the options, and you hit the O button to paste or whatever. Okay, there's one, and there's the HD loader that I want to. That's in my newbie package here. Go down and get that. I also want the ESR and the SMS. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oops. No, I didn't want to do that. No. Okay. So I didn't want to do that. But anyway. Um, we're going to take the HD loader. And we're going to copy it. OPL, go to apps, and I'm going to paste it right in there. So now what I want to do is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it onto uh, on my main menu here. I think I, I think I showed everyone how to do this on one of my, like, years ago. I uh, showed y'all how to actually uh, make a directory and have, you know, certain apps show up right here in the menu. What you do, you go to your configurator here, guys. Hit our O button. And what we want to do is go down to where it says configure o, 
OSD system options. You go into that and here's your configure. This is how you configure your items here. You got ESR, HD loader, simple media system, all this stuff. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna put HD loader up there. It, it shows it up there, uh, but as you can see, the path, the directory is wrong because it's on our uh, flash drive. So we gotta change that. We gotta go to HDD, OPL, apps, wherever you placed it, and that's it right there. This, you don't have, you can just delete those, hit return. And I also got the OPL. You go into that, you can rename it. Um, ah, where's the P at? OPL. Hit OK. And now we just click on that right there. Hit return. Return. And now we want to save the CNF to the HDD. Okay. Now we'll exit. Now they should it should be up there right now, guys. It should work. And there it is. There's the OPL. There's my HD loader. Uh, we'll we'll just we'll just boot into that and see if it works. And there we go. It wakes. It wakes. I'm gonna try out the HD loader. The HD loader is pretty cool. Um, you can actually take some of your um, your your disc ps2 disc and you can actually copy them straight from you know straight to your hard drive which is pretty cool really cool let's check out hd loader hopefully it works there we go so yeah uh, if you put in a uh, disk, you go down to install and it will automatically, guys, just install it for you on your hard drive. Simple as that. And you boot it right from right here. Really awesome. So, guys, that's it. Uh, I'm going to stop it right here. I probably went, I probably overdone it. Uh, shouldn't have took near as long, but, um, you know, you know me. <laughs> I take something simple and drag it out. But anyway... Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope it helps you out, guys out. Uh, like I said before, y'all probably already know how to do this. This is just my version of it. Um, hope it didn't confuse y'all or anything like that. But anyway, this is Bobby signing out, guys. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Um, I know I will. Play some games or watch movies, whatever, you know. Alright, y'all have a good one.